This is the seventh in my series of videos on the different diagrams in the UML and SysML languages. In this video, I'm going to cover how package diagrams are implemented in IBM Rhapsody. Package diagrams, like use case, sequence, and state machine diagrams, are inherited into the systems modeling language directly from the UML without modification. The PDF I'm shown here is actually the first UML2 spec from 2003-ish. Here we can see that it states there are no strict boundaries between the different structure diagram types, and it's possible to display the elements such as objects, classes and packages in any of the variations. It's just that usually package diagrams are focused, as you'd expect, on packages. If I switch the UML menus in Rhapsody so that the SysML profile is not active, then you'll notice that Rhapsody doesn't have an explicit package diagram type. Rather, it expects the object model diagram to be used for this purpose. It does this on the basis the OMD drawing toolbar already allowed around that time the modeler to draw any of the structure diagram elements, including object diagrams, class diagrams, and package diagrams. If I switch back to the SysML menus, however, you'll see that there's an explicit menu for the package diagram, and that the SysML profile has added this to Rhapsody's pop-up menus. Package diagrams are one of the simplest diagrams in the UML and SysML languages. Since all diagrams in SysML have a diagram frame, the fact that this is a package diagram can be seen from the PKG abbreviation in the top left-hand corner of the frame. Packages in Rhapsody are shown with a blue folder icon in the browser. They act like folders, and they're used to split up and organize model elements for access and understandability. In the case of Rhapsody, they also map to separate units or files, and hence form the basis of configuration management operations like check-in and check-out, and for sharing common model elements between different projects. Packages like folders on a file system can be nested underneath other packages. The package diagram allows useful groupings such as these to be visualized on a diagram canvas. If you try to show something out of context, then, as you can see here, that Rhapsody denotes this with a dashed line. In this instance, I could right-click to change its ownership, in which case the browser will be restructured to match the diagram. The nesting style shown here is using Rhapsody's default display options. If we look at the latest SysML specification, figure D3 here shows us the two different containment notations. Both mechanisms shown here are possible in Rhapsody, but you may need to set a display property to get the top one here to work. Let's have a go at drawing this diagram. I'll add a new package diagram to the HSUV model package. But before doing anything else, I'm gonna set a display property on the diagram called tree containment style. This notation style is also referred to as alternative membership notation. It can be used to depict hierarchical relationships, not just with packages, but also with other model elements such as requirements, diagrams, and blocks. With the property set, if I drag elements from the browser onto the diagram, then the containment relationships that exist will be populated onto the canvas. Notice in 8.4 onwards, I can drag a group of elements from the browser by dragging the category to select them. Here we can see that any existing containment relationships will be automatically populated if we drag something onto the diagram from the browser. Conversely, if I remove the relationship in the model, then the diagrams will be updated accordingly to remove the containment display, so that the diagram and the model are always in sync. If the related elements are already on the diagram, then we can choose to populate existing relationships using the Complete Relations menu in the main Layout toolbar. Notice that I can drag any model element onto the diagram. For example, here is the containment relationship shown between the HSUV structure package and the automotive domain block. The second form of the containment notation will still work with the tree containment style property set. 
This is the default way of showing the HSUV specification is underneath the HSUV requirements package. Package diagrams are also used to show other types of relationships between packages. Most commonly, these are dependency relations with stereotypes applied. The stereotypes could be built in or user defined. Here I'm saying that the HSUV use cases package has a usage dependency on elements in the HSUV requirements package. Another type of package in UML is called a profile. Profiles can be used on package diagrams in the same way as packages. If a profile is not globally applied, but contains properties that you want to apply to only part of the project, then it can be applied to a package and its children using a built-in Rhapsody stereotype called applied profile. This is the sort of thing we might want to show on a package diagram. Sometimes I use colour to differentiate profiles from packages on these diagrams. There's no conventions in the use of colour in Sysamol or Rhapsody, however. Of course, you must be careful in using colour alone, as a reasonable proportion of the population is colour blind. Hence, other formatting could also be used. Don't forget that you need to set the tree containment style property if you want to show containment links on diagrams, and that it's perfectly possible for package diagrams to contain model elements other than packages. There we have it, package diagrams, one of the simplest structure diagrams that SysML inherits directly from UML without modification. My name is Fraser Chadburn, and I specialise in tool-based training and consulting in IBM products, and in particular in setting up wraps to use in domain-specific profiles. Using Java automation, I can simplify and speed up modelling tasks so that users can focus on creative and fun systems and software engineering. If you do have any questions, then feel free to contact me. Here's my email address.